I'm Daniel Minty, a cognitive behavioral therapist, teacher, and writer. A monk in rural China was asked why he dedicated his life to Zen Buddhism. He said, I want to become like an easy chair set beneath a shade tree on a dusty road. Anyone weary from the journey can sit down and rest a while. This is the hospitality I like to offer my patients, a place where they can sit and take a load off. And once they've done so, stand up again refreshed and encouraged to continue on their journey. The main service an easy chair provides is acceptance. It completely receives us. In doing so, it relieves us of the burden of ourselves. I want to receive my patients in this way, exactly as they are. By doing so, models how they might accept themselves, which to my eye is the whole point of psychotherapy. As Karen Horney noted, self-rejection is the root of our emotional suffering and self-acceptance, the spring from which our wellness flows. Dharma is a Sanskrit term used in multiple ways in the Vedic literature. It's been translated as truth, as divine law, and is an umbrella term for the corpus of Buddhist teaching. An American student asked a Japanese Zen teacher, what is Dharma? Perhaps the student was expecting a philosophical explanation or God forbid, a religious one. The teacher gave neither. He answered instead, perfect support. Here, we have the most comprehensive level of acceptance, one transcending such distinctions as therapist and patient, or indeed self and other. At this final level, we ourselves are received, accepted, and perfectly supported by the very structure of reality. Coming into a direct experience of this way things really are, prior to positive or negative thinking whatsoever, we realize the whole universe is easy chair, and we ourselves have been comfortably seated in it all along. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll look forward to reconnecting with you soon.